What's up, fellas? D Hoop here, and I'm bringing you a Team Death match on Quarries, Modern Warfare 2, running around with the Tar 21. I'm running Marathon, Stopping Power, and Ninja Pro. If you guys who watch my videos usually know, I usually like to run Sit Rep Pro. However, this lobby that I was in, the opposite team had a couple guys running Ninja. On this map, if there's someone who can sound horror, you know, that runs Ninja themselves, you're really at a disadvantage if they can hear you because it's so freaking loud. Every surface that you're on just clanks and is just loud as can be. So that's why I'm running Ninja. And yeah, you know, it was weird. In the last lobby, these guys were all running, uh, like I said, a few of them running Ninja. In this one, I don't think any of them are, maybe one. But either way, I'm running three, five, kids, seven kill streaks. I'm really proud of this game because I go 45 and 2. It's probably my best game, as far as I'm concerned, in my own opinion, the most impressive game that I've had on a team deathmatch. Just for the fact that. Got three, five, seven kill streaks, and I get 45 kills, only die twice. And I've had a few 40 kill games with that setup, but I've never had this good a KDR, and I've never had this high at the kill count. So I was really excited. I was just a freaking cunt hair away from getting 46 kills. I'm like knifing the guy in the, uh, as the 7,500 pops up, which you guys will see, obviously. I don't know what that guy was doing. Apparently, he's dancing on the rail. But either way, I've been running three, five, seven kill streaks a lot lately. And the reason, it just seems like people have just been shooting stuff down non-stop lately in Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, that's the only game I play anymore. But either way, and I have a theory on that, which I'm going to share with you guys. My theory, the reason that people have been shooting stuff down non-stop, is because so many people have been playing Black Ops for last year. And I've been here, a lot of people say that they're trying to play some Modern Warfare 2 again to get ready for Modern Warfare 3. You know, just a... Just come back to it a little bit, get used to the, the Infinity Wars style of game, even though both, you know, all COD games are pretty pretty similar, but just seems like what's been going on. Well, here's the deal. All right. In Black Ops, all the secondaries suck, okay? There wasn't a good secondary to use that could be used like a primary. So everybody got used to using st uh, Strellas and Launchers to take out air support. Well, now here comes... Modern Warfare 2, everybody's coming back over, and they realized how valuable it was in Modern Warfare, in, in Black Ops. Here, I'm going to run from the riot show guy right into this fella. Yeah, yeah. But either way, people realized how valuable a anti-air support launchers could be. So now I think a lot of people are just, as they're, you know, as soon as they start the game, they got a damn stinger as their backup. I don't know why. I don't. Because that secondary is going to help me get kills. I'm not going to plan for the worst. You know, I'm not going to have a, something on my back for whenever enemies get kill streaks. I'm going to have, I'm going to have something on my back that I can use to get more kills. That's going to help me get the kill streaks. But that's just my opinion. It seems like every time someone is, oh hold on, this riot shield guy come moseying around the corner right here. Crouch to protect your feet with the riot shield, dumbass. Apparently he didn't read that tip in the loading screen. But either way, in my opinion, you should have a secondary that's going to help you get more kills, not that's going to help protect you from kill streaks. Now, by all means, have a class set up, an anti-air class, you know, a cold-blooded class that'll help take out air support whenever it comes up. But don't start the damn game off that way. It's just stupid. It's just you, you're preparing for the worst. You're, and it seems like every time that one of these guys... That, one of these guys is on the opposite team that has, you know, just immediate shoot stuff down. They always do horrible. I'm talking 5 and 20, you know, 3 and 7. Just stupid scores that aren't worth a crap. Yet these guys shoot down every UAV, every counter UAV, every single thing that's in the air, they're shooting it down. Which, you know, to be fair, they're helping their team. That's, you know, if I had one of those guys on my team that was going 5 and 10 or whatever... I'd be glad that they were trying to do something helpful by shooting air support down. So I'm not, you know, obviously that's a good thing as far as if your teammates are doing it. But hell, those guys are never on my team. I'll tell you that much right now. Those guys are never on my team. They're always on the opposite team. I never get a freaking teammate who just shoots stuff down as soon as it's in the air. Oh hell yeah, they'll shoot it down. Oh well, I say as I say that, my teammate shoots down the uh, attack helicopter. But you know, whatever. But either way. They'll, they'll shoot down a Harrier, you know, five seconds after it already killed me and bus killed me when I'm one away from a chopper gunner or something. But 
you know, that's just the way things go. That's the way this game's always been. The bad teammates are always on your team, and the guys who shoot stuff down are always on the opposite team. Like I said, this is a really good gameplay. I'm running out of Tar, and I've been running a lot more Marathon lately. I really like the Marathon perk. It just, you know, it doesn't give you extra bullets. It doesn't, it doesn't help you reload faster or give you, you know, faster uh, ADS or whatever. But it is a really good perk for, for maps to get places, especially when you use it in conjunction with being silenced or even a shotgun, close quarters type stuff. And in my opinion, the reason is because it gets you to places that the enemy doesn't expect. You know, if you've got to stop and take that break every couple seconds, why well, the enemy's got a better idea of where you're going to be. But if you got Marathon and you can just chuck it the entire way, why well, you're going to be in a lot better shape. That's one of the reasons that I think that Marathon is not going to be as valuable in Modern Warfare 3 because you don't have unlimited sprint. Anyways, right here I pick up this guy's ACR, and there's just something so satisfying about picking up a new tube gun that somebody's been trying to kill you with and to blow the shit out of them with it. I just absolutely, that, that gives me some kind of sick satisfaction that I can, uh, because I don't equip the noob tube, but to pick up your noob tube and blow the shit out of you, love it. Absolutely love it. And I would have went 46 and 2, but this hard scoping noob gets the final kill. Noob! Thanks for watching.